welcome to the shop. I decided to make this video to uh, showcase this machine that I designed and uh, explain its operation to you. generation of my machine. The original machine looks very much similar to this. That's the second generation. I made it about 25 years ago. Uh, it was made pretty much out of metal, just metal parts that I accumulated and I, I built a machine that looks sort of like this. It's set it sat on my bench. I use it for everything for years. And people would see it and they'd say, wow, that thing is cool. My son also liked it a lot, and he wanted me to make him one. Well, it's made of parts that you just can't get anywhere. So I decided to come up with one that's made out of parts that are available to anybody. And actually, this one came out better than my second generation. This version I call a Benchmark 3. It's a 12-inch sander with removable sandpaper. You can buy 12-inch discs. And over on this side, we have half-inch Jacob's Chuck, where you can chuck in sanding drums, grinding wheels, wire wheels, um, buffer wheels. The machine has a, uh, an adjustable motor. You loosen up the back and move the motor. It has a four-gang pulley, so it's a four-speed design. So. Uh, with sanding, you want low speed. With buffing, you want high speed. Okay, basically I'm a tinker. I like to modify things and create things. So I created a machine to help me do the things that I like to do. Um, I designed it. I kind of perfected it as I went along. I sort of, I just sort of improvised things and I, I built it as I go along. When I had it all working just perfectly, I took it completely apart and I measured everything and I drew up plans. make them available on eBay. You can print them out and you can tape them together. I've got it, everything made so you can line up arrows, tape things together, and use it as a template off the top of your wood. Mark all the location your holes, the corners of the wood. Everything will be easy for you. No measuring.
the plans are going to be pretty detailed, step by step, on how to build it, where you get the parts. It'll have part numbers for the obscure parts, like machine bushings and things, um, where you can get them. Everything is pretty easy to, to get hold of. Um, also, um, there's a, a page on uh, pulleys and uh, you know the pulley speeds and all. It's pretty easy. I've done all the uh, calculations. It's all on there. After you're done building your own, you'll have a machine that's built to last forever. Everything on here is pretty high quality and pretty hefty. It's handy because it sits on the bench. It's always available to use. After you're done building your machine, you're going to wonder how you lived without it. It's a great tool. In fact, anybody that sees it is going to comment about it. What's great about it is you built it yourself. The plan is to have on eBay the plans, the shafted chuck, and this plate. Um, the rest of the stuff is easy for you to get. I mean, it's all over eBay for a lot of these parts, and uh, most of the parts came from Lowe's, like you know the hardware stuff. The aluminum disc I got on eBay. So, um, yeah, these screw spindles, these spindles with the screw on it that uh, you wind the buffers on. Yeah, I found those on eBay too. Uh, you see them out there. So uh, it's called a tapered spindle. And, um, and one of them that I bought, I, uh, wherever it is here, yeah, I just uh, cut a 3 8 bolt and put it in there and cranked it down so it fits in the chuck. Originally it fit a 3 8 motor shaft. So, uh, yeah, it's a real handy tool. So a lot of these old flat disc things I find in garage sales. And it's just uh, a lot of handy stuff out there. At least with this machine you can use it.